five simple questions were asked of 200 women from around the world, including the well-known Gillian Anderson, Margaret Atwood, notable Kiwis Karen Walker and Kimbra, and many more not-so-famous who strive to make a difference, and they really do. Their interviews and photographs have been put together in a stunning new book, 200 Women. And to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its creators, Ruth Hobday and Jeff Blackwell. Welcome. 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 First up, congratulations on the book. Before we get into this Thank book, um, you've, you've done some incredible projects between you, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about what you've done, a little bit of background first. Oh, we're kind of escapees from corporate publishing. We, um, we kind of make about five books a year, and we've had some winners and some losers. Um, but yeah, a few winners. Tell Things us about like your winners. The Milk Project. We, oh, yes. We know those yes. ones. We had the great good fortune to be Nelson Mandela's publisher, uh, and so we made three books with him before he died. Uh, so we've done lots, lots of things over the years. Um, it's definitely been an interesting life. I know, before we get on to that, I want to talk a bit more about Nelson. So, you know, getting, I guess, to work with him, that must have been an incredible experience. What is he like, one-on-one? -on -one? He's incredibly inspiring and incredibly self-effacing. Right. It's very difficult to get him to talk about himself. He um, has this unnerving knack of constantly asking you about yourself, and you're sort of sitting there going, no, we want to talk about you. <laughs> Hang on, let's talk about yeah. you. Oh, I yeah. can imagine that must have been fascinating, yeah. having those chats. At, mm. We would expect you to be based somewhere like New York with all your credentials and the stuff you've done, but you're doing, you're making incredible mm. books from Auckland. Yeah, it's, 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 you know, what a great place to live. But it's, you know, we always say to people, it's fantastic to live in New Zealand, but it's really exciting to be able to go out to the airport every 12 weeks or so and go and find some adventures too. So yeah. it's been perfect. We've been doing it together for 20 years. Wow. Brilliant. And speaking of which, this is the latest project, this beautiful book, 200 Women. So what was the inspiration for it? I think travelling around the world together, making books for the last 20 years, and we just kind of felt the time was right to do a big illustrated photographic book on women and their, all their diversity from all around the world, um, but also help start and continue the conversation about gender equality and hopefully illustrate that this is something we need to do together. It's not just about women. So how did you choose the 200 women? Because it sounds like a lot, but I'm sure when you're looking at all these incredible women, it was difficult. Yeah, well, our secret agenda was actually to shine a light on unfamous women, mm, to actually right. go out and find women with really diverse lives. Um, but then obviously we wanted to get some famous women to, to really shine a light on the project. So with the famous women, it was a case of just sort of begging and chasing and, and uh, trying to persuade people to, to come on board and do it. And we've, you know, we've met some amazing uh, famous women as well as some extraordinary unknown women. So to break it down, you're basically asking them five questions. What, what were the five? The five questions were, um, who are you? Tell us a bit about yourself. Um, what really matters to you? Where do you find great happiness? Um, what's the flip side? What brings you, um, you know, uh, misery? What makes you really sad? Um, and if you had to choose one word to identify you, what word would that be? That's actually, real, they're really interesting mm. questions and you have to really think about what your answers would be. I was just thinking along what I'd be thinking. So who were some of the people in here that really stood out for you both? I mean, obviously they all do, but there must have been a couple that... I think that the thing that really stood out for us was what we did was the idea of having the standard questions and photographing them all in exactly the same way was to take them out of the context of their lives. So mm. just to focus in on their humanity and to not distinguish between a rich, privileged woman living in Hollywood or someone living in the hills in, in Nepal. The thing, you know, being New Zealanders and having kind of amazing the life we've got living here and being lucky to be New Zealanders mm. kind of exposed to stories that were just devastating for us actually to kind of witness just the lives of so many people around the world that are so much harder than, than our lives and particularly for women. I mean we, we noticed that in the poorer parts of the world the correlation between poverty and inequality was extreme. So but the you know the, the, the ones that stick in your minds are some of the, the, the really famous people that kind of wander and you go, huh, that's them sitting there. Like who? Like who? <laughs> oh there was just some interesting ones. I mean Gillian Anderson was really great because she just turned up in an Uber, she refused to get picked up, and she was just so down to earth and cool. And um, she's flawless as she looks, because she just looks flawless. That woman. She is. She's kind of got a very piercing stare. So she sat in front of me and looked at me and said, "Right, ask me your questions." And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but no, she's she was great, and she was kind of became a and a kind of activist for us. She was out helping us find other people to be in the book and yeah. became a friend. And was there anyone that you really wanted to get that you couldn't get involved in the book out of curiosity? They're, they're, Michelle Obama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we actually had a conversation with her people for a long time, so it wasn't an outright no or a 
or even an ignore. It was just this long conversation that kept getting our hopes up, and then at the very, very yeah. last moment... They did a nice deal with Penguin oh. and uh, for $60 million <laughs> for the memoirs of the Obama family. Right. We Stop couldn't really convince no. Michelle. Well, Michelle will see this book and she'll go, oh, why are yeah. I in there? She'll be asking people. It's a beautiful book. Thank and you so much yeah. for coming in. Thank you. Oh, thank fascinating you. reading, too. 200 Women is available now, and if you'd like to find out more about the project, you can head along to the website, 200women.com.